But new at 6.30, it's a troubling new chapter in our full disclosure investigation. We're revealing major problems with Arizona's Brady list, the lists that are used to track police who have integrity issues. Imagine a police department filled with those officers. Well, ABC 15 investigator Dave Biskubing about to show you exactly what that looks like. Bad arrests, excessive force, unlawful warrants, and unbelievable mistakes. This is Superior, Arizona. It's small, population 3,000, a stop on the highway heading east. It's a town where everyone knows almost everyone. It's also a place where police officers know they can work when they've been fired from somewhere else. You're about to see what happens when most of the officers in one department are Brady List officers. You'll meet them, see their past misconduct, then see how they conduct themselves. Now behind me, their police station. It's the scene of the first incident we want to show you. You're here to pick up your friend? Okay, one second. Hey, Ensley, can you come here a minute? You can't see him, but the officer is talking to Clint Peterson, who thought his friend had been arrested for drinking in public. I thought I was going to go in there and get my friend, and we are going to leave. Now, there's a lot more backstory, but we'll get to that later. I had no clue what was coming. Our friend's friend is here. Our arrestee. It is. Well, he's here to pick him up. Can I help? Get out there and record the two then walk around to the front lobby. What brings you here? Uh, you here? Wasn't that the people I let at the him gas go. station told me that uh, you might have arrested my friend? Yeah, he's under arrest. He's going to jail. He's not being released. How did you get in touch with him? Huh? How did you get in touch with him? He called me from the gas station. What did he say? He said, I need a ride. Do you have an ID? I do. Let's have a look. No. What's that? Is that necessary? Yeah, it is. Why? Is there any reason why you're being suspect? Do you have ID? Yeah, you involved yourself in a criminal investigation involving our I prisoner. Didn't Let's see your ID. Anything. I came to pick up my friend. Are you hey. serious? Are, Are you, you serious? serious? Do you have ID? Is it, do I have to carry ID? You have to identify yourself to the police when they have Am a valid reason to contact you. Am I being suspected of a crime? Yeah, it's called refusal to give truthful name. Let's quickly stop here. This is Officer Christian Ensley. Six departments either failed to meet standards, demoted, under investigation, or fired. My name is Clint Peterson. Thank you, Clint. Not a good idea. Now, what do you want, Clint? I came to pick up my friend. How do we know you're not part of this? Part of what? Your boy ran from the cops in a long pursuit last night. Wait, who, who's your friend? Not adding up, Clint. Who's your friend? Try again. What's his name? Oh, what's the matter? Nah, let's be, we got a false info now. You're under arrest, man. False this info for what? Because Do not fight us! Are you serious? You're under arrest! Stop resisting! You're under arrest! I'm not resisting. You're under arrest! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! You're under arrest! You're under arrest! Put your hands behind your back! You guys did not lie to you. You just said you were with your buddy last night. Commander Anthony Doran. Two departments, Pima County Sheriff, fired for sex on duty, later fired from Superior for having sex on duty again. You didn't know we're going to educate you. You lied to the police. It's a class one misdemeanor. And now you're going to jail for resisting arrest. I did not resist arrest. No. Okay. It's funny because you got four cops on your back telling you that you were. Here are the police reports. Think that those reports are true? No, they're absolutely false. I mean, you can watch a video and tell they're false. This report states Clint became very agitated, took an aggressive stance. Did you see an aggressive stance? Were you resisting? No, not at all. Couldn't, they had my arms. I could not move my arms. You're under arrest. Stop resisting. You're under arrest. Peterson was arrested on two charges, hindering prosecution and resisting. In the tiny superior holding cell, you're seeing the friend he came to pick up, Aaron Mon. Now to get to more about what happened the night before, after leaving Clint's home, Mon drove to Superior. Police say he refused to pull over for a traffic violation and then led them on an off-road pursuit through the desert and mountains. The officer wearing the body camera here, doing the pursuing, has his own similar criminal history. Officer Martin Sosa, two departments, put on Maricopa County's Brady list because in 2012, with Phoenix PD, Sosa was arrested for DUI and unlawful flight. He sped away at 80 to 85 from an officer trying to pull him over. This night, Aaron Mon got away from Sosa, but the next day, Officer Christian Ensley found him, here, laying on the ground, sleeping. Relax. What's wrong? Cut your <laughs> You know exactly what's up. Roll over on your belly. Do it now. Go. What are you talking about? Cuff him up, dude. What the <laughs> It's good. Ah! Lay flat on your back. 
Lay flat on your back. Do it now. You can see the other reserve officer kneeling against his back. Are you serious? That's when a bystander across the parking lot speaks up. Did you need some help? What's that? That's excessive force. Really? Yeah. Ain't doing nothing. You have ID? Are you trespassing? Do you have permission to be here? Leave. Now, before we show you more arrests, we need to talk more about Superior PD and what this one department exposes about larger problems with Brady lists. At the time of the cases you just saw, 2017, six of the nine full-time Superior officers ended up on a Brady list somewhere, just not all of them on the county where they were currently working. There's no centralized uh, Brady database in the state. Jared Keenan, attorney, ACLU Arizona. He says that means defendants, defense attorneys, prosecutors, judges, juries, will not know those officers' dishonest and criminal histories. We found situations where officers are put on the list of one county and they leave and go to another county and they're hired and they're not on those counties' lists. So obviously there are big holes in the system. Does that surprise you? No, it doesn't because there's no requirement that the prosecutors um, who, who keep them uh, share that information with AZ Post. AZ Post, the Arizona Peace Officer Standards and Training Board, is the state board that licenses officers. When lying or criminal cops get reported to AZ Post, the board usually suspends or often permanently revokes their license. But like you heard from the ACLU's attorney, reporting is not mandatory. To see how big of a problem that is, we took our Brady List database that goes back 20 years and also got a record of every state board case since 2000. Compare the 1,400 on the list to every AZ Post case. There was no record that at least 400 Brady cases resulted in official state board cases. They can move across t t town to another uh, department. They can move to another county, right? They can move, even move to another state. And none of that information is going to necessarily be tracked. Now back in Superior, this disabled 120-pound man hospitalized in August 2016, beaten by Superior police during a raid. A judge determined hey, judge, you there? police used misleading yeah. information to obtain a warrant. It was the end result of a day of questionable police conduct. I couldn't tell you about that. It begins here during an afternoon traffic stop. That man's nephew is the passenger in this car, stopped for a cracked windshield. Officers claim to find some marijuana and a pipe in the car, but not on him. The officer doing the search is Brian Lawrence. Two departments, Yavapai County Sheriff, fired for lying, later fired from Superior in 2019 for sex on duty, sexting on duty in uniform, and illegally searching his sexual partner in confidential databases. Now back to this search, the officers believe the nephew they're arresting is a drug dealer. So they use the arrest to get a search warrant for the motel where the man is living. There, inside, they found a small amount of marijuana, another pipe, but no stash of drugs or evidence of dealing. They also arrest this woman and began to question her. You know, we don't ask questions we usually don't really answer to. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Officer Richard Mueller. Four departments, Pinal County Sheriff fired for sucker punching a guy at a Tempe bar and fleeing officers. After Superior, he went to Globe PD, then Miami PD, where he shot someone in a controversial case last year. Back to the search. Somebody forgot to push down the drain. I don't know if that looks like a tampon, dude. After failing to find evidence of a drug dealing operation at the motel, Officer Rensley decided to call a judge to, quote, amend the search warrant. Listen carefully. We'd like to try the, uh, the other residence that, that was articulated in the affidavit, his primary residence over on Sonora. But that's not true. It's not the suspect's primary residence. It's his uncle's house, Richard Manriquez's house. And even though multiple officers rolled body cameras for hours throughout the day, when they first served the warrant on Manriquez's house, they claim none of them had theirs on. Although as soon as it's over and he's in handcuffs, the cameras start rolling again. Don't swear the, police with the, search warrant. Out, the officer searched the home, found nothing of substance. But among the items officers seized, a circular pizza cutter in a green notebook they claimed was a drug ledger. In fact, back at the station, Officer Ensley told the same woman about it. It's not a drug ledger. It's a notebook used to track scores of dice games. Numbers down. Manriquez's lawsuit is ongoing. Them to be accountable. As for Clint Peterson, he also sued. I mean, this happens to people every day and they don't do nothing about it, and that's how it's got where it's gotten. His criminal case was also dismissed. 
but it took a full year to get the charges dropped. I went to court, I think like eight times. The last one, they told me they're gonna give me six months in prison if I don't plead guilty. And I, you know, no, we're gonna take this to trial. So and then set what it happened? up for trial, two days later, they dropped the case. And during that year, officials never gave Clint this video, never turned over info on the officer's pasts, but still pressured him to plead. That's anything but full disclosure. Because basically guilty until I prove myself innocent. That's how you feel. It's not how I feel, it's how it was. I'm investigator Dave Biscobay. ABC 15, Arizona. Superior's town manager did not respond to a request for comment. As for the Pinal County attorney, Kent Volkmer, he says the department has improved in recent years and believes Peterson did resist arrest. Dave will air his interview with Volkmer and other county attorneys about these problems later in the series. His investigation continues Monday with the troubling story of a grandmother sent to prison based solely on the word of a documented liar whose lies were kept hidden during the trial.